everybody. This is Jeanette Odessa with Gospel Music Buzz. We are live here at the Sacker, ready for the biggest night in gospel music. Who's who? We'll be talking fashion. We'll be talking nominations. We'll be talking about what's going down here at the live taping of the Stella Awards. Stay locked. Stay tuned here. You're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Yo, it's Maurice Griffin with my homie, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Hey, family, this is Travis Green. I'm Dr. Jackie Green. You're listening to Gospel Music Buzz. Congratulations on the on all the nominations and everything. What does this moment feels like right now? Oh uh, man, it's just God, man. I tell everybody the awards are good and all that is great, but we do it for the glory of God, man. I just met a lady who's going through chemo and she listens to us every morning. That's my why, man. So I'm excited about it. And we're exciting. We're supporting you. You know, we know everything that you're doing. Last year, every time you went up, you had an amazing word for us. We appreciate you, the Thank positive you. flow of the music. Thank you very much. Hey, music Buzz, how are you doing? See you, sir. Congratulations, congratulations on everything that's happening. Thanks. Saw you guys at the uh, Urban Soul Cafe on Earth. Some pretty inspiring words. It was great to see the entire family come up there. How are you feeling going into the nominations and everything that's happening with you, with the group, and just, you know, all in all today? We're blown away, man. We're blown away by God's faithfulness. I'm here with my beautiful bride, Dr. Jackie. Uh, we love the Stella Awards, 30th Annual Stella Awards. This is great, 2023. Family reunion, we're just having a good time. And I love what's going on with the book tour. We got to make sure we sync up yeah. once you start going through with that as well, too. Absolutely. You know, one word of advice you would give to anyone that's watching this from the outside, not quite where you are right now, but it's just thinking, you know, maybe I'm not good enough. I don't know if I can get there. What word would you give to them? Stay consistent. You know, stay faithful. Um, if God put the dream in your heart, stay faithful with it, and you'll never know what he can do with it. Sure, when we got some music buzz here, we're here with Pastor Mike and Natalie. Natalie. And Natalie. Pastor Mike, you are just one of those voices that whenever someone is looking for a word of encouragement, whenever they're looking for a take on a scripture or a sermon that is not going to be afraid to bring the message in strong regardless of what anyone or anything has to say but being in that position that you're in to keep bringing that cutting edge word knowing the importance and relevance of this time how do you handle that man i just stay low and ask god for wisdom um, i'm humbled to be considered a voice to anybody i just know what i needed and what i need when i'm in the middle of hard situations i need somebody to be real with me yeah and uh, yeah. what i try to do every week and every time i get an opportunity is be authentic be real and love on people and teach them the word of god and point them to jesus and so we're grateful to even be considered anything in uh gospel music or in in the church today i love i love it and i also love your transparent journey of your workout journey and everything you know the wife has been telling me you know i need to i need to work and it's not buying, good, stop buying bigger clothes you i need to good, work bro. and it's, i want to see you guys are motivating you're out there the rest of us is watching and we're looking to do it what has been a moment that you guys have just really enjoyed this week so far um i would say just seeing everybody here seeing this many beautiful people in one place at one time it's it's been amazing i just i'm people watching and i love it <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is people watching you people guys watching. Watching. <laughs> what's a word of encouragement you want to just leave with our viewers right now for this season yeah just wherever you're at in your life right now know that it's on purpose know that God has not made a mistake or forgotten about you but he's setting you up for the greatest moment of your life if you would stay humble stay planted stay in the place he leaves you obey God at some point it'll all make sense so don't get weary in well-doing just continue to trust God and progression over perfection this is Pastor Mike Todd, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Heading into the main show right now, again, congratulations on all the nominations. Are you a little bit nervous? Um, no. You're not nervous at all? No, because I don't expect to win. <laughs> and I'm sure you may, you may still come away with it. What is the one moment you're looking forward to most tonight? Um, I think I'm looking forward to seeing Kirk perform. Mm. That's 
that's what I'm excited about. I miss him a lot, and so I can't wait to see him. Awesome. Well, congratulations again, and enjoy the night. We're here. Yeah. New single. We're talking about the new single, oh, yeah, yeah. My, my Worship, My Worship. Yes. Okay. My Worship just dropped. It's doing so good. It's on so many playlists. All of the feedback that I'm getting is stunning. So I would encourage everybody to please go back out there. Tell somebody. Let's get that second wave. Play it two or three times, and let me know what you think about it. And we know the new album is coming. What's the name of the new September album? September 1st, the first. album God Be Praised is coming. And there's so many new elements on there that are reminiscent of the old one. Me producing, background vocalist, live music, strings, and I wrote all of it. So I can't wait for y'all to hear how it comes because it's reminiscent of Yahweh, all I have to give in the original album. And what has been some great moments that you've been a part of this week that you've just been excited to be here? The basketball game was very fun. Yeah. All the red carpets have been crazy. The way I felt watching Pastor Mike Jr. and all the radio stations win at the pre-show was just awesome. Yeah. I'm grateful that it's going to be televised now so that that's going to be a whole new. And my last thing that I'm looking forward to now is the production of the show. I'm and a fan boy, of John, all of the producers. Your boy John up there hosting. The so I'm really to see what oh, Johnny is for this. Hey, shout out Johnny. Yo, do your work, bro. I love you. <laughs> Listen, awesome. appreciate you, my What's brother, up, bro. What's happening, my brother? How are you? How are you? I'm amazing. Amazing. We're here with Ant the one and only Anthony Brown. Super excited for everything that's happening. Saw you with Johnny in New York. When you guys came out, you guys yes. did that. Pumped the energy. Everything was going there. The new single is out right now. Let us know the name of it and what people can go grab. Perfect. The new single is called Speak Your Name. It's the first single from uh, a new project I'm about to release called Affirmations. Very important project to me because I feel like we're all living in a time right now where you're looking for someone to encourage you. This project is going to teach you to encourage yourself. Thank you so much, Anthony. Appreciate My you. Sure, we're going to Thank you very much. Thank you. It's such an honor to see both of you here. I've been waiting to see you so for forever. It's so good to see you. First of all, you look amazing, both of you. But she's really killing. No, she looks really, she's really, really, good. really killing. Give it to her. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, I'm Janice Gaines. And I'm EJ Gaines. Yes. And we have a new podcast called Only Gaines Podcast, where we talk about marriage and life and family and, and lessons all, learned. And the Lord gets me together. He convinced yeah. me real good through our conversations, <laughs> and I'm here for it, so it works out. Same for me, same for me. So we're excited about that. You can catch the Only Gaines Podcast anywhere you find podcasts, and I'm excited to be back in the studio working on music. I was about to say, I heard a little something. <laughs> Janice is coming and, back. And, She's and back that's, in the studio. That's just a little taste. I got to work with a, a women's group to do something, but it's about to be, you know, Amazing. my music, and I'm very, very excited. Well, listen, I'm excited. I'm sure the world is also excited. I know the show will be well-crafted and that everybody has been vetted and will be amazing. It's a community full of amazing and gifted people. Yeah. So the entire show is going to be, like, top-notch. Yeah. I'm just looking forward. I mean, gospel music is the greatest music there is. It and is. so I love any, any event, any show that promotes that and talks yes. about and showcases how incredible the singers are, That's like, right. from birth. Yes. Ain't, no, ain't no training, ain't no... We, they born yeah. with it. And I, the whole world needs to see it, so I'm excited about That's that tonight. Right. Right. I am, too. Thank you so much for taking the time to come chat with us. Hey, I'm Janice Gaines, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Hey, I'm EJ Gaines, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Love y'all. Saw that you came out and you started going. The whole house was standing. Everyone didn't know if they should clap, if they should worship, whatever they should be happening, man. <laughs> How's the week been so far for you? The week has been awesome, awesome. Um, I did my sister, uh, Gugu Atkins. I did yeah. her, uh, her fashion expo. Same for that. Um, and then I did the tribute that you just mentioned, the Smoky Norfolk. So those have definitely been the highlights of my uh, of my week. And I cannot forget about my little bros, the Red Hands Band. I did there. Yeah, yeah, event. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I also want to shout out my boy uh, Carlton. I did his event. So um, I I've been pretty busy for the entire week, and now I'm here for the actual taping for the Stellars, and I'm celebrating the nomination, courtesy of P.J. Morton for the Better yes, Benediction. Yes, Benediction. Yeah, myself, Zicardi Cortez, Cortez yeah. Daryl Wall. Uh, Samo and Tim Rogers. So I'm just having a fabulous time. And it's, and it's great to see. That was an amazing collaboration also. Love, love the new project. Saw you live at SLBs in New York when you came through. Oh, that was an amazing yeah. session. Man, man. Let, let me mean, tell you something. I love New York. 
For some reason, every time I sing in New York, it's just a vibe. Yeah, yeah. I, man, I told my wife, I said, I wouldn't mind even doing like a live session in New York. That would be dope. At a setting at SOBs. That would talk. be dope. That yeah. would be dope for sure. Yeah. Listen, let the people know the name of the new project and your socials where they can find you. Yes, uh, let's start with socials. I'm on Instagram mainly, and I just got on threads too. Threads. So, it's, there, yeah. yeah, it's underscore Gene Moore. That's G E N E M O O R E. And uh, the name of my EP is inside of Introspection. It's a six song EP. I want a little more inspirational versus straight ahead gospel, just something that I wanted to do. But uh, every song still has some form of a God awareness, and you can get it on every streaming platform. I, I have a feature with India Ari. I also did a collaboration with Paco Walls of the Walls Group. He wrote a couple of songs. Eric Dawkins wrote uh, my current single that's out, I believe. I did a, a collaboration with the Red Hands Band. So, you know, I just want everybody, when they listen to it, to vibe, but to also uh, just be encouraged and to uh, keep looking to God. Appreciate you, brother. Man, thank, thank you, you, my brother. Sure. Yes, sure. sir. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Listen, I'm excited. It's hot. Tonight's hot. We look hot. Las Vegas is hot. Yeah, I yeah. feel like God setting the tone to let us know it's going to be a hot night. And you've just been on a roll with these number ones. I mean, oh. you know, you rolled out the first one. You guys been pushing, pushing, push you with the second one. Congratulations on everything that has been happening. Because yeah. I remember one of the first Stella Awards, we were all sitting we were at all a together. table. You were doing a pre-show yes. before the number ones, before yes. everything. And you were just kind of like, you know, visualize that moment then just to kind of seeing everything that has happened since then. Man, I feel like um, for someone to have seen me and knew me then to now, to see that development, to see that growth. And I would say too that literally we see that the show has also grown big. Yes, yes. Um, but staying humble and supporting one another and having that love and support um, is really the value. You know what I mean? We can't do any of this without people supporting each other. And we forget that sometimes, but yes. that's just the fact. This and so is, I'm really grateful true. for that. And what moment are you looking forward to tonight? Ooh, I'm looking, believe it or not, I'm looking forward to the hosting. I feel like Tasha Cobb and Jonathan, and, and Jonathan <laughs> McGuinness is, is an interesting collab. Yeah. But I feel like yeah. it's gonna be funny. I feel like it's gonna be brother sister vibes. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. seen them with jerseys on, so I don't know. I know, I know. Happen. I said maybe yeah. they may bring out the basketball and do some shit in. Ooh, what if they bring the court out? Like a, ooh, <laughs> exactly. I can see so, that. So, so may probably happen. Let the people know the name of the new single I saw yeah. right now. Yeah, the new single that's out right now. It went number one. It's called Let Him In, and it is a worth a great listen and put it on repeat. Um, you can stay connected with me. You can find it at, at Jokia Music or wherever you stream music. Hey, what's going on, family? This is Jokia, and you are watching Gospel Music Buzz. So be sure to keep it locked. I love it. Thank you so thank much. You. I love y'all. Oh you thank you so much for always supporting me. Of course. Me. I, it means so much. But I love you. Love How are you? How are I'm you? doing good. Yes, sir, man. It's been amazing seeing you this weekend. Thank you. How was your Stella Plus experience so far? Oh, the Stella experience. Stella experience has been amazing. Um, you know, it's been exciting to see people get celebrated this weekend. Uh, last night at the pre-show, I mean, yeah, Pastor were, Mike, did he clean stage? up? Oh. I mean, he, he, he cleaned up. He, he cleaned he, up. He cleaned the house. Now, so. now that I live in Birmingham, I got to say, Birmingham took it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I ain't going to hold you for that. That's right. So it's been great. Last night the pre-show was awesome. I got a yeah. chance to minister there, and uh, but tonight is going to be phenomenal. Tonight's going to be phenomenal. So know that you've done with your part of the ministry. Yes. Now you can just relax and relax enjoy. And support. And, and support enjoy. and enjoy. The new single you have out right now. Let everyone know the name of that new single and kind of like the quick story behind that. Uh, the name of that single is called He Can Handle It. It originated in 2020. Nate Bean is the writer, and uh, it really is a song that's declarative, right? It just says, I know that he can. I know that he will. He can. Let's be reminded minded, cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. We serve a God that can do the impossible. He's mighty, he's powerful, and he wants to take care of you if you'll allow him. I know he can. I know he will. He can handle it. I mean, are you hearing this right yeah. now? <laughs> oh, it has been such an adventure. Such an adventure. I'm having such a good time. And I saw you performed with Anthony Hall at the Monarch Reception, yes. honoring Smokey Narvel. So that was super, super amazing just to see you guys Thank with you. that honor and doing that. So aside from that, I know you were at the pre-show last night. What was the experience at the pre-show? Oh, man, the pre-show was full of the Holy Spirit. You know, I was expecting it to actually be like a show, but God met us there. We had a good time. Love that. The new project that is out right now. Let us know the new project and where everyone can get it. The name of the project is called Audacity, and the name of the single is called Illuminate, and it's on all digital platforms. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh.
what? It's, it's, it's been a jam-packed weekend. Congratulations on the station Thank winning. You. And what category did they win in? The media market category. And congratulations on that. Thank and you. how has your Stella Plus experience been? I know you hosted a yes. lot of events and so forth this weekend, but how's your weekend been so far? It's been an amazing weekend. It's been a jam-packed weekend, as you said. But it's a blessing, and I'm proud to be in our industry. I'm proud to be in gospel to represent Jesus Christ. I'm proud to be in this kingdom. <laughs> And I'm proud about all of our talent uh, that's out there in the music and our independent artists. So God is good. It's been a great weekend and we won a stellar award yesterday. Exactly, God is good. Exactly. Podcast. You got a new podcast that is out right now. You guys, you know, already started to drop some episodes. Tell yeah. us the name of that podcast and where people can follow it. Yes, go listen and watch the Young Black Successful Podcast. It's available on YouTube, Spotify, Amazon Music, everywhere that podcasts are available. You can listen and watch the Young Black Successful Podcast. And how can people follow you just to keep up with everything that you got going on right now? Yes, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere at Destiny Diggs, D-E-S-T-I-N-Y. And it was great co-hosting with you today for the, yes. for the short spot. <laughs> we had so much fun hosting the yes. Jordan and Jersey's event. Yes, yes. They had me in sneakers, y'all. You know, I'm a girly girl. I don't do sneakers, but I did it today, and we had a great time. It's been a great weekend with family. It's been a huge uh, reunion. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you again, Destiny. Thank Appreciate you so it. Much. Thank you. Love you guys. How are you? How are you? Congratulations! Thank we were you. all. I feel like the entire industry was rooting for you. Thank you. Keeping people in your category. This is your time. This is your do. Thank what you. is this moment feeling like right now? All of the exhilaration that you could imagine. All of the excitement, joy. Um, still shocked. Still pitching myself, and um, unbelievable that God would give me this extra bonus along my journey. So. And we're super happy for everything Thank that's you. going on. I know you got to run. Thank you for stopping by Thank again. Congratulations. It's so great to see you. I like why. I love it. I love it. Jason, what's up, brother? How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. So, first off, congratulations on the home team. Leonard Bird took it home last yeah, night. I know so the whole my block. I know everyone is super excited. What did you feel in that moment when you knowing all the work, knowing that everyone have always said, you know, Leonard being so underrated and then kind of seeing that happen last night. What was that moment for you? Honestly, when I actually got a little choked up when I found out Lena won. I wasn't at the, I wasn't there for the pre-show. I knew she was going to win, mm -hmm. but I got a little choked up because I remember when Lena was starting. I remember when she first got signed, Lena and I went to an event together and we always laughed because we were so far back in the airplane that water was dripping on us. Oh, wow. And we were babies in this thing. And to see her winning, to see her emerging, to see people receiving her and loving on her the way that she deserves really, really does a lot. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And you've been doing some amazing things with the Thank Mavericks you. TV Choir. Thank I know you. you guys just had another recording uh -huh. the, other, the other day. So you still, you kind of jumped straight from that head here. What can we expect from that recording and from what you're doing with your own solo stuff as well too? Okay, so I want to clarify. I didn't do this recording. Oh, you didn't do this I did, I did the Kingdom it. recording in the got prison it, got it, as got well it. as the tour for 2022. Okay. Um, so, but I've um, kind of jumped back into my own choir. Yes. And really taking that. the things that I know from what I learned with the Maverick City thing and just everything and really diving back into my own choir. So we're starting pre-production for album number two. We've just done some work with Tyler Perry. We've just done some work with a couple different secular artists. So we've been moving and shaking quite a bit. I love it. Love it. Listen, man, as you always know, once you guys are dropping stuff, feel free to connect with us. We'll make sure we get the word out there. Thank you. Give us your social and then let the people know. My socials are everything. I am Jason McGee. That's I-A-M-J-A-S-O-N-M-C. C G E E. So this is Jason McGee of Jason McGee and the Choir, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Appreciate you, brother. Thank Keep you, doing man. it, man. Thank you for so sure. much. Thank you very much. Definitely. Congratulations on all the W's. I mean, listen, you guys have just redefined and reshaped just winning in general. Like, what is this moment feeling like right now after last night and even going into today? Man, I'm just so excited. We just blessed so many people with our music, and that's uh, that's what the W's come from. Uh, you know, the, the benefit of the W's is that we're touching millions and millions and millions of people all over the world with our music. So I'm excited about that. And for anyone that is just sitting on the outside wanting to know how they can remotely just be 10% of Kerry Douglas and work 10% as hard just to get remotely to where you are, what word of advice do you have for them? Well, man, I would just tell uh, the, the people to just uh, stay focused, stay grounded, and have good people around you. 
uh, uh, the people around you is very important, you know. That's why I'm happy to be on this journey with my wife. It will keep my mind straight and keep my mind strong. So uh, I'm excited, you know, to have her on this journey with me also. How has the week been for you so far with everything that's happening? Oh, we've been super excited. Coming off of 10 wins yesterday, and then we have two performances on the show today. Javon DeWan, uh, Zacardi Cortez. Oh, we also have Pastor Mike, so what, yeah. just three. So, you know, we just, we just keep winning. I, I love it. Listen, congratulations to everything you guys have achieved so far and everything else that's happening on the pipe. Salute you, my brother. Right, Thank hey, you. When, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm in town, I'm listening to Gospel Music Buzz. Gospel Music Buzz is one of the best formats you can listen to gospel music on. Stella Award win. We've all seen the videos. We've seen the different angles. You know, you were sitting there in anticipation. You jumped up. You shot up there. Just, you know, first, introduce yourself to the people and let us know what happened last night. Yeah, this is Nico Flowers, assistant program director, talent, and executive producer. Radio 1 Atlanta. Last night, we picked up our second Stella Award in the row. Yeah, yeah. Um, last night was crazy. I don't. I didn't expect it. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It kind of caught me off guard. I was nervous. My my nerves were just all over the place last night. I had to take a little moment to just kind of gather myself um, after we walked out the theater just to kind of get ourselves together, man. But it's beautiful, man. We have a really great team, um, and I'm so proud of everybody because everybody hold their own, and we just and in Atlanta is busy, so we yeah. all stay doing stuff. So it's, it's super dope that we get recognized. But it seems like, you know, you guys are impacting culture and Christ so huge. Anyone that is doing anything that is just making their way through, you know, just making their way through, they have to make that stop. I see, you know, yes. I know you produce with Jaquelia yes. Carr. Yes. She's up there doing yes. her thing, yes. her thing as well too. But just understanding that level of impact and just, you know, shepherding that to ensure that the right individuals make their way onto that platform to, you know, to put the message forward. How has that been and how are you handling that? I'm handling it the best I can. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I was in a panel on Thursday and yeah, one of the things yeah, I told people panel, is yeah. that, you know, um, just Atlanta's a big city. Yeah. It's a big city and a, everybody, a lot of people do music in Atlanta. So a lot of times you get asked for uh, how can I get my music on the radio and stuff like that. Being Working for the biggest black radio station, gospel radio station yeah. in the country, it comes with a lot of responsibility because you can't just put anybody on and you have to be strategic in, strategic in yeah. how you move. So it's just really taking case by case and letting everybody know that we expect certain things and we want certain things to look a certain way. And if they're not, can't, you know, can't, then we can't yeah, do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just being, it's just having that type of mindset. But it's great to see what you're yeah. doing, man. You see you guys all weekend long together. Yeah. You guys have been yeah. just yeah. completely crushing it, showing that positive yeah. image yeah. of yeah. marriage, relationship, yeah. just yeah. happiness in general. Yes. You're doing an amazing Thank job, you so even much. with your shows, you so with everything else. Yeah. Every time I happen to scroll on IG, yeah. you're just talking to everyone and everything. Yes. Continue to push that. I appreciate you, brother. Yo, shout out to my guy, Sherwin, man. Yeah, listen, gospel music buzz, y'all are doing phenomenal. I'm gonna give you your flowers now. Y'all are doing phenomenal, I think, and appreciate everything you've done and will continue to do. So there you go. Thank you. Yes, Before you go, let yes. the people know where they can follow you. All right, you can find, hey, this is Nico Flowers, and you can find me on Instagram at Sir Nico, S I R N E I K O. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nico Flowers from Radio One Atlanta, and you are now checking out Gospel Music Buzz. You know, what's most exciting is this to see your friends. I mean, there's so many of amazing artists here you know we all are running in different directions we bumping each other on tours and on dates and to be able to just slow it down for a second it's crazy yeah but yeah. to be able to just sit back and talk and catch up and you know I've heard a lot of let's do a song together this, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. so, <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some great music with some amazing people and uh, tonight I'm excited to be a part of a tribute to the legendary Mr. Milton Bingham, who's at wow. the foundation of gospel yeah, music, yeah. and myself, Isaac Korea, and Dottie Peoples are doing a tribute to him, doing wow, some of his wow. music. So I hope I can do him justice. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to do him justice. What's your most recent project that you have out now that you want everyone to go check out? A uh, brand new gospel music changed my life. Brand new EP. I wanted to bring some some more old soul music back in the culture. I'm kind of stuck in the 70s right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very blessed that I had the, the song of the year last year. Um, 
most played on Billboard number one, Never Knew Love Like This. I did a house remix yeah, um, yeah. with Mr. Tom Washington and Vince Lawrence. Tom Washington did the horns and strings for Earth, Wind, and Fire September. The horns for Crazy in Love for Beyonce. So the record is, I'm really excited. So the Never Knew Love, then gospel music changed my life. Then I did a women's anthem called Soul of a Woman in honor of my mother. Yeah. Ladies, go check it out. Every woman who has listened to it so far said you captured us. Yeah. And yeah. so um, I'm just excited about, you know, creating content to get people singing in mass and I'm working on some crazy stuff for 2024 and we, and already. We, and we, can, we can't wait to see it because Gospel Music Boss, we are a huge supporter of everything that you're doing. But then lastly, you've also been doing a lot of Charles Jenkins Presents where you're showcasing a lot of up and coming artists, artists that you have personally co-signed, signed up, helping to bring them to the front of the line if they've been at the back of the line so long. Why does that mean so much for you to still continue to catapult others knowing where you are right now? A friend of mine, Mr. Terry Peterson, um, iconic leader in Chicago, said to me, if God blesses you to go up on the elevator, don't forget to send it back down. And so it's been my commitment, whether it's to write a song, as I did for Kenny Lewis and One Voice, and that went to number one and blessed his career. Donicia Ballard, an artist that sings with lots of other artists. I've written her a bunch of stuff. And, uh, you know, and I'm blessed to be able to say that I'm writing for some icons. I just wrote some music for Karen Clark, Corinna Hawthorne, and others. And I think whether you're just starting to be able to support people who are just starting, or working with icons who have been here to, to just be a part of what they're doing. Either way, it's a blessing all around. Awesome, thank you so what much. What's happening, man? I'm here with the one and only Aldrin McCollum with the Aldrin brand, my brother. Normally you're on one side, but yeah. you're on this side today. You're going down, you're talking to everyone. You know, how has it been so far for you? It's been... <laughs> It's, all, it's a dream. It's, it feels like a dream, but it has been so amazing to have this opportunity, you know. And I want to say thank you for always being supportive, man. You are doing an incredible job, I so I appreciate you, you so much. And just being over here, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's almost unreal. It's almost unreal, but we're here. You know? You're here, you're here. I know you got a lot of great things in the pipeline working right now. Care to give us a peek on any of them? Yes, so I'm getting ready to do a tour. Um, I'm going on tour with Claudia Jordan. Oh, nice. The play, it's a play, it's called yes. White Lies. It's written and produced by Claudia Jordan. So it's, no, Claudia, uh, no. it's her, myself, Christian Keys, Pooch Hall, and Willie Taylor of Day 26. And so the tour is set to launch, I believe sometime at the end of the year, going into the beginning. We haven't gotten dates yet, but once we find out those dates, we will let you know. I also just received the Presidential Lifetime Achievement yes, Award. congratulations on that. I saw that. I was like, oh, man. Thank you so much. And then I also just became the um, official ambassador for the World Culture Festival presented by the Art of Living. So this festival is the first time it's ever coming to the United States. It's being held in Washington, D.C. at the National Mall. Over 100,000 people have already signed up to be there. We're expected to have at least 200,000 people in attendance. Listen, I appreciate you for everything that you're doing for independent artists, all the exposure, and just what you're doing with your brand and everything in general, man. What's up, family? It's your boy, Aldrin McCullough here, social media influencer, actor, and show host. I'm here with my family, Gospel Music Buzz. I need you to stay locked and stay tuned. Let's go. You look so amazing. Can you, thank you. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Absolutely. My name is Shantae Atkins, and I am a singer, songwriter. Awesome. Now we know you've got a debut album that you just released titled yes, Follow yes, Jesus. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the new album? For sure. Um, the album is really fun. I I wrote and co-produced all the songs with uh, Gregory Edwards, who is my producer, and I'm really excited about it. I believe there's a song on there for everybody. Um, I pray through the whole uh, music, so I'm praying for you as you're listening to my music as an intercessor. I think it's really amazing. It's my work. I put a lot of time and effort into it, so I hope that you guys listen. I hope you enjoy it and hope it blesses you. I know it will. I must say, guys, you must follow her on social media because you are such a wonderful person. 
a wonderful soul. You're funny. I mean, you get a little bit of everything following her. So where, where can the viewers connect with you? Yeah, you guys can follow me on all, uh, what is it called? Social media platforms at It's Shantae Atkins. That's I-T-S-S-H-A-N-T-A A-T-K-I-N-S on all uh, social media platforms. Hey, awesome. How are you guys doing today? I'm good, I'm good. Listen, I know I know we're all a little, we're all a little bit hot. It's been a crazy, crazy week, but <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate that. How has the week been so far for you? It's been really good for me. I sang at the Monarch event the other night. Yeah, yeah. Did a tribute for uh, James Fortune. Uh, I was supposed to be at the Red Hands event, but Monarch went over some, so, you know, my sister and I did a panel yesterday. It's been good. How was the panel? It was amazing. What was we the panel some, on? Well, it was about women in business and fashion and beauty. And so, since we're in fashion, of course, we're hitting. And so, it, it was a lot about people being um, empowered by our brand alone. So, yeah. And as, you know, as black women in business, you guys have achieved so much with your brand, with all the placement and everything else. For anyone that is now getting into business from an entrepreneurial perspective, what word of advice would you have for them? I always like to say, don't be married to an idea because you never know what's gonna actually pop off. And so just really, you know, be flexible, you know, and you'll go far. And you'll go far. Keandra, from a musical standpoint of things, what is the most recent project that's out now that you want everyone to go and download and stream? Okay, well, go and stream my album, Cornerstone. I just got 1.5 million yep. streams. And um, as well as we hit number seven at Billboard with it. And I uh, just promoted my song, um, Liar, on Cameron Hall as well. So just doing a lot with it. And I really want you guys to go and get it because it really means a lot to me. But I'm really pointing people to Christ in this one. And let us know your socials where everyone should go follow you guys. Sure. At Keandra Lockett, at Keys to Lux Life, and at Jolie X Noir Apparel. Amazing brand. Thank you guys so much. Come on, get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Y'all, this is looking amazing, amazing out here, my dude. What's happening, man? What's good? What's good? Listen, man, congratulations on a successful basketball game. It's what everyone was talking about. I saw everyone came through. It was just amazing, amazing. But, you know, what was your thoughts going into it and seeing how it was executed? How do you feel now? Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it's not easy throwing any type of production. And going into it, we're, you know, we're, we're more prayerful than you really want to be because God has to do some things behind the scenes that people don't know. But um, it's really to get, to get the word out about mental health awareness. So we push that, we push that, we push that. But now that it's over, um, we can rest for about 24 hours before we get started for next year. I love it, I love it. And from a musical standpoint, I know Bear Tag, I know Lamont Sanders. Shout out to Marie, you guys are doing some amazing thing. You're always cooking something up. You just dropped a new single with Jordan Armstrong, as well as uh, Jason Claiborne. Give us the name of that single and where people should go get that right now. Uh, the name of that single is On God, and you can get it everywhere. Um, I'm honored today to walk this carpet, this blue carpet, with the super duper producer himself, Sean Key. My dude, Sean Keys. If anyone knows about the number one hits that's happening, hits after hits, even if you want, you know, some music, you know, for your podcast, whatever, this is my dude because he just shoot me over something. How is it for you, you know, this week and, and with the new single out? Man, it's great, man. It's always an honor to be here, uh, but it's it's even a greater honor to share it with family. You know what I'm saying? So, man, Lamont is family to me, and uh, I'm honored to be working with him, man. And I am so excited about what God is doing through us, through this new single. Man, I can't wait to see what God's going to do with this, man. It's going to be remarkable. Love you guys, man. Keep Love up the too, great man. work, yes, brother. Hey, man, we appreciate you. Thank of you so much. Of course, Marie. Thank you. Take care. Thank you so much. We are here with the one and only Anthony Hall. Yes, sir. I no. mean, every fits time. after fits every single every time. Every time, every time. Yes, sir. You got the new album out yes. right now. Give us the name of the new album and let people know, you know, why they need to go get yeah, it. Yeah, it's Roosevelt Live. It's the live version of my studio album, and it's a completely different experience. A lot of people was asking us, you know, when you come to my show, you never forget yeah, it. Yeah. And so they wanted it to be packaged up so they can experience it all the time, and we did just that. Um, there's a visual that we're about to put out for it, but the album is out right now. There's a new song on it called He's Alright, a song that we made for the church. 
Monarchs, man. It's just a great album. I'm super and proud of it. And we saw you guys did the uh, tribute at the Monarch reception. Yes, yes, yes. So just being able to do that tribute, being here with all your yes. peers, like what has this week been like for you? It means a lot to me. You know, I think last year I came out and I performed all day, every day. This year was a little different. I think a lot of people always see me on the stage or see me performing somewhere, but I wanted to get down and talk to people and really in encourage people and, and uh, you know, connect with other people, you know, and so, but I got the call from Monarch to uh, tribute my, my big bro, James Fortune, and you don't say no to that, you know of what I'm course, saying? Of course, of course. so we had a great time, man, and now uh, it's just amazing what God can do in just a matter of years. Appreciate you, man. For Let sure. us know your social and what you should go follow you. Yes, yeah, so Instagram, I am Anthony Hall, Facebook, Anthony Hall, and my website is officialanthonyhall.com, and the album is Roosevelt Live. It's available everywhere. Hey, this is your boy Anthony Hall, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. We're here with the one and only Titus Shower, the man himself. Oh my guy. Listen, man, you guys are playing hard on the basketball field. Did you did you come away with a win or not? Team West, Bishop South team, we won. Great trophies. I started off with the anthem on the night. It was the climax of, of the night with the trophy winning. So we were excited to be the winners this year. And the new the new project, we know you got the new visuals that's out. You did the listening party when you came to New York, had the honor of being a part of that. Yes. Let us know the new single that is out right now with the video and what people need to go check out. New single out, name on it. Definitely go check it out. It's an encouragement to remind you that God has something tailor-made just for you. Nobody can take away from it because it has your name on it. And give us your socials. I am Titus Showers on all social media platforms. Stay connected with me. I'm loving being with Gospel Buzz. This is my bro. That's my sis. We here, baby. Let's get it. Appreciate you, bro. Man, you look, you look you're fresh, brother. You look you're fresh. I like it. I liked it. Thank so congratulations on being a nominee. I know yes. the categories and such announced last night. What was the song that was nominated for? So Not Too Young. Um, it is my first album and my first project, but it means a lot to me because it just tells you that you are not too young nor inexperienced to get out there and praise God. And it's good just to see, you know, young individuals such yes. as yourself praising God, being yes. passionate about Christ. What message do you have for the youth, you know, that may be thinking, you know, I don't know if I want to do this Jesus thing, it may not be cool. Like, what message do you have for them? Well, when I released my album, my friends were still by my side. They were listening. They were jamming to the album. And there is a place for the youth right now. We have a place in this world. We have a place in ministry. And if you just do what God is calling you to do, God will reward you at the end. So be your best self and don't let anybody out there try to distract you from what God has for you. Woo, love that message. Thank you. Let us know your social and where they can follow you. All right. So I am on Instagram at I am AJ Evans and Facebook at AJ Evans music page. And you can find my music on all streaming platforms at Not Too Young by AJ Evans. Thank you. Listen, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've um, been working in gospel music for quite some time behind the scenes as a songwriter producer. And so it was really exciting to be here walking the blue carpet and networking and talking to all of you today. Did you do some stuff with Angela Moss Pool? Absolutely. See, absolutely. I know it. I know it. When you said that, I'm like, I'm like why did yeah. that song get? I was talking to Angela. What was that song that you guys did together? It Speak to the Mountain. And yes, yes. Yes. And absolutely. it's at radio right now. Too. Absolutely. Yes. And, it's, and it's climbing. It is. It's climbing. It is. It's getting, and getting so there. As, actually, as an artist, most of my music has been promoted on the R&B platform, but most of my writing has been done with gospel music and gospel wow. artists. And so it's exciting to kind of step out and let people see where I am. Uh, good friends with my man Fred Jerkins and Dark Child. Sure. Shout, shout out to Fred Jerkins. And we do a lot of work together and a lot of artists um, who I've been behind the scenes with. with the so, so what do you, aside from, you know, people that you've been writing with and the collaboration, mm -hmm. what else do you have going on personally right now? Right, right now, I here? have a song that's actually top 20 on the R&B Billboard charts called Till I Get Back to You. Till and I, I have a new project coming out called Safety. Okay. I like to call it Inspirational Soul, where you weave the word of God into R&B music and people can feel that positivity because we need that out there. Yes, yes. We do. Of course. And let the people know where they can follow you right now. At the Alvin Garrett, and that's on all your social media platforms. My website is alvingarrett.com. Love it. This is Alvin Garrett, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Can you introduce yourself to our listeners? How you doing? My name is uh, Anthony White. I'm the artistic director for the Detroit Youth Choir. Um, most recently seen on America's Got Talent. Um, and won last night. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, we won last night. Uh, that's our second Stella. Wow. So wow. we're actually two-time Stella Award winning two -time Stella Detroit Award. Youth Choir. And how long now you've been directing that choir? Whew. I think I've been in the game for a little over 25 years. Wow. wow. Yeah, I was just counting the years 
a minute ago, but it's probably 24, 25 years. This weekend, how was that? This year, it was amazing. Uh, 2021 was nice because we were coming out of COVID, mm -hmm. but this year, it looked like everybody came out the woodworks. It's truly amazing, and we are honored to be here. And let us know where people can follow you and just stay connected. Um, you can follow us on social media, all all social media platforms at DYC Official. DYC Official. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. Congratulations Thanks once again. Hey everybody, I'm Yannette Odessa with Gospel Music Buzz. We have the amazing Danita Gibbs here on the red carpet looking so fabulous. Thank you. Thank Tell us, what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm just looking forward to hearing everybody and I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you as well. We love your music. What's going on in the Danita world? You have new music out? Yes, it's coming out this fall. Wow. So we're building up and um, trying to make sure that I put the right sound out. I notice sometimes um, sometime we can move so fast yeah. and we don't, we don't put the right songs out. So I want to make sure that I'm putting the right song out. Well, listen, we're excited. We'll be patiently waiting on a new music. Stay tuned this fall. Enjoy tonight. Hey, I'm Danita Gibbs, and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. What's happening? What's happening, hey, my hey. boy? Sure, we're with Gospel Music Buzz. How are you, brother? I'm good. I'm good. So, yes. you know, I heard you guys have, you know, typically right now with the flow of music that yeah. you're doing, you're completely flipped it. You're mixing a little bit of trap. You're yes. mixing a little bit of gospel. Yes. Tell us about yes. that. Javon Dewan and the Trap Stars. You feel me? Talent revolving around purpose. That's the trap. That's the trap. Javon? Yeah, what we did was we decided to find a new lane or another lane, I would say, because, you know, the cars change. If you're on the expressway, you can see different yeah. cars, yeah. trucks, 18 wheelers, whatever. But one thing that doesn't change is somebody got to drive it. So our message that is that we're displaying is driven by God. But we wanted to come in and give you something else. So it's going to be energized. It's going to be high energy. It's going to be altitude. It's going to be activation. I can't wait to get on that stage and unwrap our gift. And when is the new project or is it out already? Yeah, the song is called Change No Cap. It's out right now. Javon DeWan and the Trap Stars. You can go get it. Please go stream it. It's going to be great. I'm Yannette Odessa with Gospel Music Bus. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm Justin Rafford. Uh, Justin Rafford, uh, new gospel artist. It's my first time here at the Stella. It's my first time on the carpet. I'm glad to be here. Amazing. Do you have any new music out? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I have a single out right now called Can I Get a Witness? Ooh. That's doing well in gospel. And as a matter of fact, y'all supported me on the first week when it came out. Come on. I made y'all playlist. You know, that was real big for me. I follow y'all. I follow y'all social media plays, uh, the platform. We appreciate that so much. What are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to the performances, but also the networking and meeting people like yourselves and, you know, just really enjoying the moment because it's a dream come true for me. Awesome. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for stopping to talk with us. What's up, world? I'm Justin Rafford, and you're here live at the Stellas watching the gospel music buzz. Can I get a witness? My name is Marcus Callion. I am the composer and actually still award winner as of yesterday for song, Praise and Worship Song of the Year. Um, Zakoda Cortez, you've been good to me. Congratulations. And, um, thank you, thank you. That's exactly why I'm here and I'm having a great, great time. And how was the weekend? I mean, the, the wind kind of sealed it sealed it for the week, but how was, have you been able to catch any of the other Stella Plus Absolutely. experience? Absolutely. How has that been going um, so it, far? it was a very informative uh, meeting I had with Amazon Music. Um, it's been so much information this weekend. It's been crazy, and, I, and I'm really uh, grateful for it, for sure. And as a composer, you know, composer, you're always writing different songs. You know, this one went mm -hmm. all the way, and it won. You know, did you think when you were writing this song that this was the one that was going to go all the way? No, or? I just, we, was, we went as far as saying this is the single for the record <laughs> but um the message was so strong and we, we was created during the pandemic so that's what made the message so so key because you know everybody was in the house and we couldn't go nowhere but god was still good throughout the whole time and what quick word of advice can you give to any budding composer that is out there that is just grinding through waiting for that hit what, what would you say to them don't give up on no ideas um push through from everything that come to your head and just believe in yourself and network um push your music invest in yourself and i promise you it will pay off and give us once more your socials um, my social media on facebook and instagram is marcus callion m-a-r-c-u-s-c-a-l-y-e-n and you also can find my website uh, marcus.callion.com it's been so 
good, you know, to see everybody doing their thing. The education piece has been phenomenal. And um, to see a lot of people that are out here uh, trying to figure it out, you know, um, they've been giving a lot of great advice this week. So, and then just tonight, to see everybody do their thing at the highest tier, it's the Stella Awards. Of course, Who wouldn't of course. have it no other way? Exactly, exactly. And what new music do you currently have or are planning to release right now that people can go check out and support? My latest project, Love, Peace, Happiness, that's my single, it's out right now. God and Miracles is out better yet. Go to my website, mauricegriffin.global. You got docu-series, music videos, and uh, I'm about to do an um, interview platform as well. It's called MG Live, so stay love tuned. It, Check it, it out. Love it, love it. And what, Global. and what platform is that going to be on? mauricegriffin.global. My, Global. my website. Gonna, are you be able to get everything there? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? Tonight, you know what? I'm looking for the host to just do their parts, you know, make us laugh, give us great energy, you know, feed us with some good love, and uh, somebody Give me the mic so I can be like, Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me. And then just pass it back when you do the mic toss. Let everyone know where they can follow you just to catch up with everything that's going on. Listen, you can definitely just catch me at MauriceGriffin.global right there. Go to my YouTube or go to Instagram, Maurice Griffin. I'm there. Ain't gonna bite. Hello? Hello? Hey, how you doing, my sister? I am doing excellent. We are Gospel Music Bus. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Oh, I'm Khalil Lundy from the legendary Force MDs. I'm here in the building with my partner, co-owner of Praise FM. We're a stellar-nominated station, and we're here to hold it down and just represent today. How does it feel to be nominated? Well, we feel good. Uh, I, I'm excited. That means we're doing something right, you know. Somebody's yeah. no, noticing what we're doing, <laughs> you know. Awesome. You know, it's, it's been beautiful, man. We run into a lot of great people, man. It's, a lot of, it's good to see, you know, I mean, people that's, you know, God-inspired, doing positive things, coming together, doing what we're doing right yes. now, keeping good music alive. There's a lot of music that's bringing people down dark paths, but we're just trying to keep people going in the right direction. You know? Awesome. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. No problem. Enjoy your Pleasure. evening. Come on, come on. Listen, man, you guys are here. Every time we're seeing you, you know, on social and everything, yeah. you guys are making marriage look really fun, wow. really popping. You know, for wow. anyone that's looking at marriage, marriage is definitely not boring when it comes to you too. But wow. just go ahead, give me your names. I'm Javante Patton. It's my beautiful wife, Simone Patton. Thank you. And you're with, uh, I know you're with, the, is it the Wave? The wave yep, the Wave Church. That was Pastor Simone, Prophet Simone. <laughs> and uh, we, an amazing church in Minneapolis. And so uh, she's an incredible preacher. And we're just here representing. And I'm just here to sing and have a good time. And congratulations to everything that's been happening. Thank you. With your music, with the release, with the rollout. Everything was done with such excellence. Wow. Like if anyone is looking for a playbook, how to release, how to build up expectations. I hear that so much. What wow. to shoot and do from there it was done flawlessly wow. definitely and even with the success seeing you again on the pre-show at urban soul cafe when you guys did that honor just every single thing everywhere i was wow. this weekend seeing you representing christ you're representing music and you're doing it with some swag man so you know yeah, i'm just saying let the people know the new music that's out right yes. now what they got to go get so you go get always it is number five on gospel radio yes. airplay um establishes my new album and a new song with hezekiah walker coming out called he'll do it again appreciate you brother I thank love you, you guys you guys i love y'all okay. we're here with trey Bon Perry, NYC Finance, Brooklyn Stand Up. You know how I did. You know how I did. You already know. Yo, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. You know, somebody cheated on um, uh, no, Thursday, no, no. but you know we gonna get them back. We got something. Are, are, are you talking with the basketball game that you guys? Yeah, they, they you, cheat. They cheat. lost. We right? lost, but they cheated, bro. That's what. They, you can't bring nobody from the NBA in here. You get it. It's one and one. It's one and one. So it's yeah, kind of yeah. tied. You guys won the first no, year. No, 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 no. no. We should have won. We should have won twice. That's I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. But you know, everyone was having fun. It was all, what yeah, was one I, of the, I enjoyed myself, man. What was one of the great moments that you know you've kind of been a part of this weekend? The basketball game. It was so much fun. It was even more fun than last year. Um, big shout out to my big bro, Lamont Sanders, yeah, yeah. for putting it on, man. And shout out to you guys, man. I be seeing y'all, y'all always showing me love, man. I love you guys. Let us know what you got working on or what's your latest single that you have all right now where people can get it. Yes, all right, all right. With number one last year, we're still yeah. riding the coattail of that. However, we got a new song coming out entitled Something Good featuring Jason Claiborne. I can't wait for y'all to hear it. It's 
Crazy. Give us your social and let the people know where they can find you. Trayvon Perry underscore on Instagram, Trayvon Perry on Facebook. Take a look, I'm in a book, let's get it. Hey, it's your boy Trayvon Perry and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. My guy, come on, come on, bring it in, bring it in. It's all good, it's all good. Listen, Marcus, man, amazing, amazing year you've been having so yep, far with yeah. everything with the number one just with everything that's going on it's been an amazing experience so look i got a chance to meet you in the flesh so exactly yeah, that's finally yeah i'm just meeting other people my new single just cracked top 40 on billboard i'm traveling and touring so man god is good i'm excited about all this you know that's happening and let the people know the new single and where the it's called dance so yeah dance dance hey. message behind the new then, single um, if you're feeling down it's something that can uplift you music is a feeling so if you're dealing with depression anxiety anything thing as, as such I want you to listen to the music and feel better about yourself you know the dance people want to have a good time and that's what it's all about Adam. love me. it and, it's all about sure it and lastly before you go let the people know where they can follow you I'm at um, Instagram Twitter and Facebook at I am Marcus Jordan hey family this is Marcus Jordan and you're watching gospel music buzz love it appreciate can you, you brother. please introduce yourself to our viewers my name is Dawn Cole I'm an independent artist out of Dallas Texas released my first debut EP in 2022. I'm on IG. It's Dawn Cole. I-T-S-D-A-W-N-E-C-O-L-E. -E, and I'm blessed to be here with you. Listen, we're so honored that you're here. It's incredible. The legacy, the ministry, the teachings, master class, yes. the showcases. I just enjoy meeting the army of people who are trying to introduce others to Christ. So amazing. We're excited because it is the biggest night in gospel. We're so glad that you took a minute to stop and chat with us. Enjoy the night. God bless you and everything that you have going on. I'm, dig I'm digging all out, man. So, you know, Thank you, man. big week. You just dropped a new single. Drops out new single. I checked it out. Great, great song. Thank you, bro. Let Thank the people you. know first. Introduce yourself to our viewers and let them know, you know, the new single that you have out right now and the, the, and the meaning behind the single. Okay. Man, Jay Powell's from Houston, man, repping Indie Blue and Monarch Music, man. Just dropped a new single yesterday and it's going really, really well. Praise Break. Y'all definitely check that out on all streaming platforms, man. Title actually had me on the cover oh, of uh, nice, Rising Gospel nice, and Christian, nice. man. So I'm super, super excited about it, bro. I'm just really looking forward to what we got going on, man. And the meaning, Praise Break, what was the meaning behind that song? Man, the song is just a song of gratitude. You know, really thanking God for all he's done, all he's doing and getting ready to do. You know, and just celebrating my history with God. Right, man so it's literally just me telling him thank you from start to finish bro so praise break <laughs> love it give yeah. the people your socials how they can stay connected and all my uh my connections with uh social media is j piles i i uh, at j p y l e s i i please subscribe to my youtube channel that's j piles j dot p y l e s and also follow my uh my my brand's page at disciples d i s c i p y l e s they got some dope merch y'all so you want to make sure you check that out yes sir appreciate yeah, you brother thank you, bro. yes sir right. yes. Just the entire show. This is my first Stella Award, so wow. I'm super excited just to be here and represent our organization and just to see all of the performances and be amongst black excellence. Awesome. It is the biggest night in gospel, so we're Absolutely. glad you're here. Thank Thanks you. for stopping to talk with us. Hi, this is Kimberly Alexander and you're listening to Gospel Music Buzz. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Yannette with That's the Gospel Music Bus. Can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Hi, my name is Pastor Cornelius Edwards from the television show BET Sunday Best. Yes, we're so excited to see you here on the red carpet. It is the biggest night in gospel. What are you looking forward to tonight? To encounter the presence of God. I'm Come believing on, for yes. a move of God tonight. Yes. Oh my goodness. We're excited. Enjoy the night. Hi, this is Pastor Cornelius Edwards and you're watching Gospel music bus. Yes. <laughs> we meet again. Okay. You, you just opened up the Urban Soul Cafe, Jerseys and uh, Jordan event. Amazing, amazing testimony you were sharing just on just with God being a restorer, being a healer. You know, that was super powerful. I think everyone resonated with that. The song that, well, before we even do that, introduce yourself to our viewers. Yes, my name is Kiana Crew. Kiana Crew. Yes. And the new single that you sang today, what's the name of that single? It's called My Offering. My Offering? Mm -hmm. awesome. And what was the, the backdrop behind just My Offering? Like, what is the meaning of the song, My Offering? The meaning of that song is when I don't have anything else left I'm gonna give God a sacrifice and that is my offering so I'm gonna praise I'm gonna worship when I'm broken I'm gonna praise and I'm gonna worship when I feel 
like I can't make it. And that is my offering to the God who died for me. Love that. Let us know your social and how people can stay connected to you. Okay. Uh, my social is Instagram, Kiana Music, Q-U-I-A-N-N-A -N -N -A Music. And my Facebook is Kiana Crew. And that last name is C-R-U, T is in Tom E. Thank you, Kiana. Nice to meet you once Thank again. You. Thank you. What's happening? What's happening? So we are live right now in the Stellar War Blue Carpet with Blair Monique and Terry Bogart. Terry Boyan. And, you know, it's just amazing just to see you guys being nominated with the family, with the Youth Project of the Year category. I know they announced that last night, but still, that's just such a great, great feat just to see you put in the hard work. You got the nomination. You guys are here doing this together as a family. What's that feeling like? Honestly, it's a whirlwind. It's monumental. So everybody in my family being a part of that project was incredible. AMG is an amazing label, and we're just trying to change the world, literally one song at a time. So I'm just excited to be here, and I'm happy to talk to you. Likewise, and you know, there's the AMG side of things. I know you guys got a whole lot, you know, coming down the pipe. Some of it was leaked at SOBs. You guys got a whole lot. I'm super excited to support yes. that. But you also, by yourself, BMO Design, you guys are just truly crushing in the game guys you're not looking for any design work anything this is this is who you come to it's totally totally taking over you know how has your stellar experience stellar plus experience been this weekend it's been you amazing i've never gone to the extra events but i think that's such a great addition um and i'm just excited to see what it's going to bring from years to come and i learned so much it was, it was great to sit down with my peers and just talk about things that can help push the agenda forward for us and let everyone know the song that was nominated and where they can find it. Well, it's a whole project that the was project nominated. Was actually, yes, yeah. AMG Kids. Uh, you can look it up, and it's called Sunday School. Sunday School. And once more, give us your socials. I'm Blair Monique on everything. B L A I R M O N I Q U. Thank you. So you. What category were you guys nominated in? Quartet. We're nominated in two categories: Quartet of the Year and also Best New Artist of the Year. Amazing, amazing. Uh, it's been a blessing, man. It's been a blessing. We all have been singing for four years, and and to be nominated on our first uh, album, it's a it's a blessing, man. And we performed last night on the Stellar's pre-show. And God is good. God is good. And go ahead and introduce each of your names. I'm Lil Rick of the Hawkins Balls. I'm Ricky Hawkins of the Hawkins Balls. I'm Aaron. I'm Joe Hawkins. And I'm Lemmy Hawkins. And where can people follow you guys just to stream your music and be able to catch up on all things that's happening with you? Yes, you can. All you have to do is just text Hawkins Boys to 21,000. Again, Hawkins Boys to 21,000. You can find our music, our social media, and also how to reach us. Perfect. Congratulations once more, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, uh, the name is Trey Nicholson, uh, representing WWLD, Small Market Radio Station of the Year in Tallahassee, Florida. And you guys are a nominee within the category? Yeah, we actually, uh, we're the the one the winner of the small market radio station deal. Congratulations to you Thank on you that. Appreciate. That was announced last night, right? Yes sir. What was that moment leading up to it, just kind of feeling it out? hearing all the different nominees, knowing what's in that category, when they made that announcement, what was that feeling like? It was incredible. Um, we've been nominated many a times, so we always kept trusting God. Um, saying one day it's gonna happen, and last night was that night that, wow. it, that it all happened. Wow, so that right there is just the motivation for anyone that is just waiting on something to happen, and then that moment happened right now, so they can just continue to push forward and press forward. Let us know your social and the station one more time. Yeah, uh, the social socials is Trey Nicholson. Nicholson spelled like the regular nickel with the S-O-N. Um, the socials, um, that's the social station. WWLD Heaven 98.3 in Tallahassee, Florida. Hey, this is Trey Nicholson and you're watching Gospel Music Buzz. Appreciate it. You remember Gospel Music Buzz. Let us know the new project that is out right now that people need to go check out. Yeah, yeah. It's called Glory Hour. And I wrote this album in, during the pandemic um, because I was inspired to leverage the fact that all the world was in a moment of darkness and you, and when there's darkness that that the, the glory of God contrasts strongly when there's darkness it's like the, the contrast between nighttime and daytime and so I, I wanted to let everyone know that um, in moments of darkness if we put our hope in Jesus and wait for glory hour he will come on the scene and obliterate darkness so, yeah. and we were going to be looking forward to that performance congratulations on the new project thank you and could you give us your socials yeah victory boyd thank you sure we're going to got the music buzz this year too